Hello everyone, I'm Father Enrique Salvo, Rector of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Today we will be talking about preparing for Advent. Advent is pretty much here. And Advent is a time in which we have a joyful expectation for the coming of Christmas, and it's the time that we prepare for Christmas. And when we think about preparing for Christmas, many times the first things that come into our head are things like the to-do lists, the, the gift shopping list that we have, decorating the house, preparing holiday parties, going to travels, anything that is so part of the busyness of this season. And a lot of that is fun, especially when we're going to see family and friends and so on. And I like to see it as preparing that the whole world is in a way preparing for Jesus's birthday party on Christmas. And it's really a time that there is a lot of joy going on. But when we talk about preparing for Christmas, of course, what we really mean is about preparing to receive Jesus in our hearts, in our souls, in our minds. And when we say things like, let Jesus be born in your heart this Christmas, let's not dismiss that as a beautiful, pious sentiment that looks nice in a Christmas card. We have to see that as the most concrete thing there is. Because when we say things like, may Jesus be born in our hearts, basically what we are saying is that we want Jesus' invitation that he be in us and we be in him, that we can become one so our joy may be complete, that that comes to be more powerfully each day. And for that though, we have to be prepared to fully welcome him, to welcome him into the manger that is our hearts where he really wants to abide with us. So this time is a time to do so. And there's two ways that are very important for us to do that. One is to have works of charity. And we remember that we want to receive the greatest gift of all, which is Jesus himself. But we too, in his name, must be a gift unto others. And of course, this is a time in which we think about charity. We think about those that are going through financial struggles, the homeless, uh, children that may not have toys or other things like that. And we, we help, and that's extremely important, getting coats and coat drives and so on. There's a lot we have to do there, and that's very important. But let's not forget something else too, that this season, all Advent Christmas is a time, of course, that there is a lot of joy and happiness and a lot of cheer going on. And, and it can be a great time, you know, a baby's first Christmas, a newlywed couple in their new homes, Christmas, uh, family and friends reuniting after a long time. There's a lot going on, a lot of festivity and, and a lot of excitement in the air. But there is something that we have to be always very aware of, though, that for many people, this time can actually be a very difficult time because when someone is going through any difficulties in life, like for example, mourning the death of a loved one, going through any financial difficulties, going through loneliness or any health issues, anything at all, this time can actually be a time in which the sorrow can be magnified actually because it seems like we have to have a Merry Christmas and we're not feeling it and that's actually more, more pressure. But let's remember, first of all, that the true joy that we have to receive is the joy that only Jesus himself can give us, even if we don't receive an external joy. But we have to help each other out. So if we're having a good Christmas, if we're in a good place this Christmas, let's be conscious of our brothers and sisters that may not and be there with them and, and, and just be a presence in their lives that, that, we know, that they know how much we love and support them. Just like sometimes we may be having a bad Christmas and we need that from others in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. So that is a very important way to be a gift unto others, to be very aware about what different people are going through and, and be very conscious of that. And the other way, of course, is to prepare for the coming of Christ through our prayer life. We have to make commitments, much like we do during Lent, during this time about how our prayer life is going to look. And of course, let's, let's of course, if we can make it to daily mass, that would be powerful even if we see it virtually. We can, of course, let's not forget to pray the rosary, to invite Mary as the mother of Advent in, as we prepare for this season. 
In a very powerful way that's always been used are the Advent devotionals. There's many classic ones, there's new ones that come up all the time, in which basically each day we go through a different reflection that prepares us for Christmas, and we learn through them, we can study scripture. There, there's so many things, and there's so many much variety for whatever's going on, perhaps in our life during that time, and what we want to or need to grow in. In my Advent this year, I'm actually doing the Hallow app you know i'm a fan of the hallow app and they're doing their advent pray 25 featuring the chosen challenge so basically they're going to do something very special that they're taking the cast from the chosen like jonathan rumi that plays jesus and they will be narrating the this, this whole devotional and they're going to begin with the old testament remember that advent begins from the time that the whole israel was waiting for the promise of the messiah to come until bethlehem when jesus christ is born it's, it sounds like it's going to be very special, very powerful. I recommend that. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be very beautiful for all of us. But whatever we do, let's do it. Because one important thing to remember when it comes to the category of prayer is that even though Advent is a time in which prayer is so important, it's also a time that it can be very difficult because we can be so busy and distracted. So more than ever, perhaps more than at any other time in the year, we need to be very concretely disciplined in what we're going to do. Let's be realistic about what commitment we're going to make with our Lord, but what we, whatever we do, let's follow it because we have to cultivate that beautiful relationship that we're always invited of, but especially during seasons like this, so that then we can truly welcome Him in our spirit, in our minds, and in our hearts, so that when Christmas comes, we truly do invite Jesus to be born in our hearts and that our joy may then be complete. God bless you. If you're interested in joining the cast of The Chosen in the Advent Devotional on the Hallow app, click the link below and you'll be able to subscribe through St. Patrick's Cathedral where you will get three months free. I'm sure that this will be a blessing for all of us.